class 6 how are you all doing welcome back to my class quite for quite a long time you got a break right but now it's time again to start with the new chapter that is chapter 2 glue today in this video we will only try to understand the glue its advantages and disadvantages and some related terms associated with glues so let's get started have you ever went for a show in the planetarium? Think that you went to watch a show in the planetarium and the show is titled as Earth and the Space. You can see the space, you can see the stars, you can see moon and other planets along with our planet Earth. How does it appear? It appears blue in color. So from the outer space, if you will look at the Earth, how it looks, it looks blue in color. Why? I hope so all of you remember we read in the last chapter that because two-thirds surface of our earth is covered up with water that is why it appears blue in color. Now have you ever wondered what is the shape of the earth? Let us go ahead to understand the shape of the earth. How can we understand the shape of the earth? We cannot see the earth right? So they, there was a time long long ago when people used to believe that the shape of the earth is actually flat. But after some time it was proved that the earth, the shape of the earth is not flat. Rather it is sphere in nature. But the problem is how can we exactly have an idea about the shape of the earth? We cannot touch the earth, we cannot see the earth visually, like physically, then how can we exactly get the idea about the shape of the earth? How can we know about different features that are identified or that are located in the surface of the earth? So to solve this problem, geographers discovered two important tools. One is globe and the little one is map. Today we are going to read about the first important tool and our topic or our chapter is related with the important tool that is globe. So let's get started with globe. Now what is a globe? You can see this is a model of globe. What is a globe exactly? You can see exactly showing the shape of the earth. So I can say that a globe is a small model of the earth. I also say it has miniature form of earth as true model of earth or as spherical model of earth. So, what is a globe? We can say any of the definition is correct. Small model of the earth, miniature form of earth, true model of the earth or spherical model of the earth which is exactly showing the exact shape of the earth and it is very helpful to locate different places, to identify oceans, continents, to know about different shape and size of different physical features that we can see in the earth's surface. Now from where this word globe came from? It came from a Latin word globus which means round mass or a sphere. So globe came from a Latin word which is globus which means round mass or sphere. Now let us understand the advantages and disadvantages of globe. I hope all of you remember which is the largest globe in the world? Artha. Artha is the largest globe in the world. Now let us understand the advantages and disadvantages of glue. Advantages of glue. Glue give us what? The accurate 
spherical shape of the earth I hope all of you remember that what we call the true shape of the earth that is geod right which is slightly bulging at the bottom and flattened at the top it gives us the shape and size and also we can know about the location of continents what are continents the large land masses and oceans what are oceans the large water bodies are referred as the oceans so we can get to know about the shape size and location of continents and oceans we also get idea about other different physical features right so more or less we can say that globe help us to know to study about the surface of the earth now globe do have some disadvantages let us look at the disadvantages what is the first disadvantage you can see here very well that as i have drawn the diagram of a globe you can see only one part of the globe can you see the other part if you will have a real globe also you will only see one part of the globe at a glance that means only one part of the globe is visible to us what is the next difficulty that we can face in the globe we can identify or we can know about different continents or oceans but we cannot find an exact location or point in this whole globe that means exact location of small towns or cities cannot be seen in globe so what what does it mean that means suppose it is our continent asia and it's a part of india now in the globe we can find out india but we cannot find out in india where is kolkata so the exact location of a town or a city or a state cannot be found or it do not provide detailed information about uh, exact location of town cities or or a state right or next is advantage of a globe it does not provide detailed information about the climate vegetation agriculture what type of roads are there can we get information from the globe we cannot get detailed information about the climate type of vegetation type of agriculture or the roads from the globe it is not possible right now what is the next disadvantage there can be different sizes of globe now mostly the globe the size of globe is very large and it is bulky so it is bulky and it cannot be stored there can be 
small gloves also that is pocket gloves but mostly we do not use pocket gloves we use a larger globe globe because it provide us much more information than a small globe so larger gloves are bulky and it cannot be stored so these are the disadvantages of globe now the globe is not fixed right have you ever seen a potter's wheel did you saw the potter's wheel how it is moving still in the same way the globe is also moving now let us understand the related topics with globe as i told you that our globe is not fixed then how it is moving it is moving around this imaginary line now what we call this imaginary line an imaginary line around which the earth rotates so this is an imaginary line around which the earth rotates this is our axis now on the basis of this rotation you can see that day and night changes in day and night are caused how on the basis of the rotation that is movement on its own axis right that is termed as rotation now you can see that the axis is not located at 90 degrees it is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half it is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree now next let us understand about the poles what are poles you can see here these two end points where the axis is actually touching the surface of the globe or the earth right so what we call these two end points we call this as poles to the north we have the north pole to the south we have the south pole so what are poles the two end points on the axis of rotation or we can say the points where actually the axis is touching the surface of the earth or the globe as we are talking about globe so surface of the globe or surface of the earth to the north this north pole and to the south this south pole let us know about equator what is equator you can see in the globe there is an imaginary line which is dividing the earth into two equal halves we can also say that the imaginary line that circles the earth now this imaginary line which is located at 0 degree is referred as the equator this imaginary line is also known as great circle and this is the longest circle that we can see in the globe here as you can notice that it is equidistant from the poles from the north pole and from the south pole this imaginary line divide the earth into two equal halves or hemispheres that is to the north we can say as northern hemisphere that means to the north of the equator it is the northern hemisphere and to the south of the equator it is southern hemisphere so what is the equator an imaginary line that divides 
the earth into equal halves or as we call it as hemispheres it is at zero degree the northern hemisphere that means to the north of the equator and southern hemisphere to the south of the equator. Now, what is the purpose of the equator? Why do we need equator? Now, the main purpose of the equator is that the equator is actually dividing the earth into two equal halves that we understood as the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. On the basis of equator, that means the distance from the equator will define the type of climatic condition a place will have. The areas which will be closer to the equator will have different type of climatic condition from the place which will be located further away from the equator. Equator is also an important reference point which helps to locate different places on the earth. So I hope all of you understood about the globe, its advantages and disadvantages about axis, that is an imaginary line along which the earth rotates. This is an axis which is tilted and don't forget to mention that it is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree. What are the poles? The two end points on the axis of rotation are referred as poles to the north. We have the north pole and to the south we have the south pole and equator is an imaginary line we can also call equator as a horizontal line right horizontal imaginary line which divides the earth into two equal halves or we can say hemispheres to the north of the equator is the northern hemisphere to the south of the equator is the southern hemisphere and what is the purpose of equator i hope so all of you will remember the purpose of equator also so in the next video we will try to understand about a very important topic that is latitude till then do read your books and do follow the pdf that is provided if you have any problem don't forget to comment in the comment box given below and if you like my video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe take care stay safe signing off for the day